When was the last time you went to your doctor and said, hey doc, um, can you help me make sense of my Apple Health Kit data or what's coming off of my Fitbit? There's a lot of different types of AI and AI in and of itself isn't the end point. What matters is how do you use these tools because that's what they are, they're tools, to drive actionable insights uh, for both the clinicians and the patients. So we give them a wearable device, a connected scale, a connected blood pressure cuff if they need it, the CGM, we download the apps, we connect everything, register everything. There's an immense amount of data that's already out there, but no one has the time to make sense of it. And so you use algorithmic tools, AI, machine learning, to make sense out of that data and then serve the insight up to the patients and the clinicians in a digestible and actionable way. If I was eating, let's say, apple, I would know how much it would spike. If I was eating grapes, how much it would spike. So that helped me a lot trying to control uh, what I'm eating, how I am eating, what time I am eating. I controlled it in four months by reducing around 10 kilos and um, I did it without medication. You know, we believe that patients should be managed continuously. The care should not stop the minute the patient leaves the center. So we've been doing that. Um, we've been getting data back from the patient every single minute of every day, producing incredible results that we don't generally see in uh, traditional care. We think all um, healthcare facilities that manage chronic disease will be practicing this model of care in the future.